Welcome to Let's Talk Investing, a co-production of the Globe and Mail and the Investor Education Fund. I'm Rob Carrick, personal finance columnist at the Globe and Mail, and with me is Jeff McCartney. Jeff is a wealth advisor at Scotia McLeod. Jeff, let's talk about the Registered Disability Savings Plan. It's a relatively, relatively new program uh, that I don't think a lot of people know about. Can you explain what it's all about, how it works? It's basically been set up so that a, a parent or someone else can take part in the financial well-being and security in, in a loved one who becomes the beneficiary who has one or more disabilities. So it's almost like an RRSP except you're saving for a dis disabled family member. Yeah, that's exactly right. In some ways it's more like an RESP and I'll the reason for that is the contributions you put into it are not tax deductible like an RRSP. However, like an RESP, a registered education savings plan, growth inside the plan from investments are tax deferred. And when it withdraws, are they taxed in the hands of the beneficiary? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, talk to us about uh, how you make contributions to this sort of thing. What are the limits and what kinds of uh, plans are available? The individuals who can qualify for it, they must have a SIN number. The beneficiary must have a SIN number. They must be a resident of Canada. They must be considered disabled uh, based on the, they receive the disability tax credit. And they must be uh, under the age of 60. So that's the qualification for an RDS. Okay, RDSP. so it's pretty wide then. Yep. All right. The maximum lifetime contribution to an RDSP is $200,000 and it can be contributed all at once or over the course of an individual's okay. life. Right. The government has created some very good initiatives to go with the plan. Two matching programs, uh, um, uh, one is the Canadian Disability Savings Grant and the government will match up to $3,500 of annual contribution um, to the RDSP and that's based on a, a number of different factors um, but they'll do that up to a maximum of seventy thousand dollars up to the to the age the person's age is 49. Okay so free government money uh, to encourage you to contribute just like with the R, R ESP. Yeah at 300 percent, 200 percent or 100 percent based on the amount they contribute and their income level. Okay. The second initiative is the Canadian Disability Savings Bond. This is specially made for low-income families who may not have the capacity to put in as much money as a higher-income family. The government will contribute $1,000 a year, whether the individual contributes or not, okay. um, up to a maximum of $20,000, uh, up to the age of 49. Okay, now these, this is, these are really valuable programs where the government is really obviously reaching out to encourage people to do this and they're willing to put some money into this as well. Now, where do you access these plans? I remember when it was introduced, very few financial institutions were offering them. Right now, um, how, how widely available are they? Well, it's, the, the governments have set up uh, a, a website so you can find out on basically the Government of Canada website who the, the people who offer it are, or who the organizations that offer it are. But essentially, certainly the banks, the big banks are all, all are offering. They're all doing it now. Yep, okay. RDSPs at this point. Okay, many thanks, Jeff. Thank you.